and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing all the shirts that we have bought throughout the month of February. Throughout that month, we bought a total of five shirts and we spent a total of £30.25. Throughout this video, we're going to be reviewing each shirt one by one and we're going to be seeing at the end of the video how much they are actually worth in value. Also, all the valuations that I'm going to be basing the tops on are all going to be through the website Classic Football Shirts. They are one of the UK's biggest football distributors for new, used and refurbished football shirts. And will take off any postage costs and any defects that might bring down the price of the shirt and its value. Just to point out, I've not purchased these shirts specifically to sell them. I'm buying them for my own personal collection. So I'm not going to stand here and tell you that this is what you should be doing going out and buying any shirt that you see that might have some sort of value but if you are planning to actually do that do your research first just make sure that the shirt is legit when I bought all these shirts and as soon as I got them to my home I went online checked all the serial numbers just to make sure that they were actually real and every single one was fine so at least we'll have an accurate value for you and if you see any of these shirts online just to know what to look for so we're going to get started with the first shirt we purchased for February and it is... Fucking belter, right? So for any of you that don't know, this is the home shirt of Gretna FC in 2006-07 season. Now just to paint a bit of a picture of the shirt for any of you that haven't heard of Gretna FC. During this time, this shirt I think is a really important part of Scottish football history. Gretna, as far as I'm aware, are the only team to win three consecutive league titles from the SPFL3, as it was known at the time, all the way up to the top flight in Scottish football in three consecutive seasons. And this shirt in particular, all the way back in 2007, Gretna made it all the way to the Scottish Cup final, playing Hearts, and they were inches away from actually winning the cup only to get beat 4-2 on a penalty shootout. So only in my personal opinion, I think this is a really important strip and a really important moment for what Gretna was at the time. And I, it's a pretty basic shirt, I won't lie, but again, I think it is a really important part of what Gretna did as a football club during that time. But we paid a total of £5.50. In terms of value, I couldn't find a lot about the actual strip itself and to be honest, I couldn't find anybody actually selling it, which I, I'm going to take as a good thing because obviously it will be a bit more rarer as well, so I can't really put an accurate price on it, but what we'll do is that we'll keep it on the price that we paid for and then at least then we would be getting our money back anyway. So we will start the value at £5.50, which again, is a pretty decent start. Next up, we have this one. It is the 2007 Arsenal home kit. This was actually the first home kit that Arsenal were sponsored by Fly Emirates when they moved into their new stadium, also called the Emirates Stadium. We previously used this top in our last the video when we were doing the how to add your own name set at home and this was the outcome which again I think it did a really decent job. Now if you did watch the last video I paid a mere £2 for this shirt and obviously I showed that I had the previous name set which had been either peeled off or used with an iron to get it off. Um, I don't know why they did that because it was a pain in the arse. Even with the previous name set on it there were many ways to either try and get the old name set completely off or do what I did and put a new name set on and for £2 you cannot complain. So in terms of value, I paid £9.99 for the new name set plus obviously the £2 that I paid for the shirt. So I, I'm relatively certain that I would probably get my money back So and maybe a bit extra as well obviously depending on the person who would buy it. For argument's sake, we will do the same as the Gretna shirt and we'll put the valuation on what I paid for it and what the name set cost because I think the name set has improved the top drastically. So including the name set and the actual top itself, it would come to £11.99. So at worst, we would be getting our money back. So it's not a bad result. Up next, we've got a football shirt from a team that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a while now and it is 
this bad boy. So this is a Borussia Dortmund home strip from 2013-14 season and it is an absolute beaut. In terms of the condition, I would say it's in very good condition, but there is one slight issue. Obviously it's got a personalised name set which should be relatively easy to take off. Um, just a tip that I've learned that most European shirts with name sets are a bit easier to take off rather than a name set from the Premier League or the Scottish Premier League so that should really be a problem and then I can replace it with a name set or not if I choose to do so. But it is so lovely. The actual shirt, the design itself, um, it has almost like a, like a tartan fade going through it which obviously being Scottish is quite cool but most Borussia Dortmund tops in general are such nice sleek designs and this one I cannot fault, it is such a nice top. So for this one we paid a total of fiver. Fiver, absolute bargain! So we went on to Classic Football Shirts to see what the valuation it was for and the closest one I could find was in a large but that shouldn't be too much of a worry because both medium and large tend to be the most popular sizes in football strips and its value is at 49 99 but we're going to take into account the fact that it has a personalized name set so i'm going to be reasonable and i'm going to knock off 15 pound off the actual price of the top so it would come to about 30 pounds in the valuation personal but still paying a fiver and possibly getting 30 pound back for it that would be a med and i think it's such a good buy in my opinion and it is again an absolute fantastic shirt. So this next shirt again it is a Borussia Dortmund and it is this one. Oh what a shirt. So this is a Borussia Dortmund away shirt from 2014 to 2016 and it is a sleek bit of business. I tend to favour black shirts when, when it's got this much detail on it and it is just such a nice strip. And to improve its value as well, we've got Marco Royce on the back of it. And the name set is in perfect condition. There's literally not a letter or the number out of place. There's no sort of um, defects to the actual name set itself. And it is just, oh, it is so lovely. Again, I am checking every single serial number when I do get the shirt brought to my home and it checked out and I was again a bit skeptical because I was thinking why would somebody be selling this for a, such a low price which I will tell you in a second uh, it's, I, I just couldn't believe it so the closest I found on classic football shirts was only in an XL but it did have the, the Marco Royce on the back of it and it was valuated at 69 99 the fuck? Bearing in mind it is in a small size but I don't think that will bring down the value of the shirt too much but for argument's sake we'll drop it by a tenner and then I think that's a pretty fair evaluation of the strip. And the total amount we paid for the strip was £5.50. I know you're all gonna hate me. <laughs> you have to bear in mind before we go on to the last strip I'm not doing this to try and undermine the people that I have bought these strips from, not at all, because I am buying them for my own personal collection, not to sell them on. But it is absolutely crazy how much, like, you know, a football strip can be worth without you e even knowing about it. So if yourself or your dad or your granddad's got some football strips in the attic, dig them out and get them sold or keep them and they'll just keep going up in, in price as well, in terms of obviously what condition they're in. But text your granddad now. Now, and so we have got one more strip left to show and this was probably the, the best buy out of them all. And it is this. What a fucking strip. So this is the 2013-14 home strip of Juventus. So this is a small size and it has also got Vidal on the back. I did show this strip briefly on another video that I did on how 
to fix your name set if, it, if the writing or the name set was a bit loose or cracked. I will leave the link in the, the description if you want to check out that video as well. It is just absolutely phenomenal. Again, there's nothing much to this rip, but it obviously it's just classic Juventus. And I have started to build up a bit of a Juventus collection as I currently own three strips already. So that'll probably increase as the time goes on. Because bear in mind, in my opinion, all Juventus strips are timeless. I don't think there's one that I could pick out and say that's an absolute stinker. So I think if you do own Juventus strips again, hang on to them because they will go nowhere but up in terms of valuation and price if you ever plan to sell them on in the future. So again, consulting the website on classic football shirts, the closest I could find was a size medium and its valuation was at $79.99. What? $79.99. Unbelievable valuation. I was speechless as soon as I found out that this was the value of the shirt. And I was even more speechless at the fact that I only paid for the strip four pounds. Four quid. Just to put it out there again, I'm not trying to gloat at the fact that I've got an 80 pound value shirt for the price of four quid. And it's not to go at the seller. Obviously, as I mentioned before, they might not know what they actually have. So another important message for this video is that if you do plan to sell your football shirts, maybe check what they're actually worth online as well and do a bit of research and then put it on for the price that it is actually worth. So let's recap what we spent on the shirts, including postage, take off any sort of minor defects for the price as well, and we will tally up what we have made. So as we said at the start, we spent a total of £30.25 on five shirts. Including postage, it was an additional £16.55, which our total spend came to £46.80. Totaling up all the valuations that we have consulted through classic football strips and from our own personal view, it came to £199.98. And if we take off the total amount of the strips and the postage, which was to recap £46.80, our total valuation of the strips is £153.18. I think that is an absolutely brilliant result, especially for the strips that we actually got as well. And the most of the strips were in really good condition as well. So again, it's not to sell these strips on because I don't intend to do it as for my own personal collection, but it just shows what bargains you can actually get online if you do search and research for the, the right thing. So if you do intend to do that, that's absolutely fine. If, if you want to buy and then sell on strips for a profit, that, that's absolutely cool. But just to make sure that you do your research first and you're not buying any fakes or flops in any of the shirts. And that is the end of the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I'm probably going to make this a regular thing every month, just recapping what shirts I've bought and possibly how much they're worth. I might change that, but we'll see. But again, thank you very much for watching. If you have stayed until the end and you did enjoy the video, please drop it a like and please think about subscribing as well. It would mean a hell of a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.